So everything from the sign down. All right, appreciate it. Hey guys, it's Tuesday, December 22nd. I only have two eBay orders to ship out today. Uh, not that surprising, I only listed four things yesterday. If you wanna sell on eBay, you gotta list on eBay, and I haven't really listed all that consistently lately, but not too upset that I don't have that much to ship out today because I got a lot of other stuff to do. I'm still trying to get my inventory switched over. I've only got two racks done so far. In case you didn't see it in one of my previous videos, I'm getting away from the bins and I'm switching to just like an open rack storage system to really try to maximize space. And it's gonna make pulling orders a lot easier. I'm kind of tired of opening lids and fumbling with these totes. So I switched over to this. I'm using banker's boxes. I saw these at Kevin the Tennessee Pickers place and it just makes a lot of sense because you know, the straight up and down as opposed to like tapered totes like this, you can really maximize your space a lot better. So I'm gonna be getting that done today. I also bought a lot of stuff at an online auction that I'm gonna go pick up and I'm gonna get some listing done. So let's get to work. All right, first thing I'm shipping out is in D2. This is a bunch of knives that I got from Danny and Parker up in Piqua. I decided to do an auction with them uh, because for the most part, I don't think they were worth listing individually. I uh, started it at a dollar and sold for $20 while shipping. Next thing is something I listed yesterday. This is Super Mario All-Stars and Super Mario World for SNES. Got this in that private pick I went to. That sold for $34.99 free shipping. All right, guys, as always, I show you at least one thing that I pack in every video. Not a lot to choose from today, but I'm going to show you how I pack this video game. First, I'm going to get a piece of bubble wrap. Get that packed up nice and tight like that. Um, you would probably be okay to go ahead and put it in a poly mailer and ship it like that, but I'm going to give it a little bit extra protection. I keep loose cardboard laying around, so what I'm going to do with this is use my little scoring tool. And I'm scoring a couple edges so that it'll fold nice and easy like that. Now, the reason I'm doing it like this, as opposed to just putting it in a box, is because the box is gonna generally weigh more. It's gonna cost more to ship. So I've got it packed nice and tight in here. It's got bubble wrap protection, it's got cardboard protection, and now I'm just going to put it right in a bubble mailer like that. Total weight is six ounces, so it's probably gonna cost three, 350 to ship, something like that. All right, time to start working on some of these racks. I'm probably only gonna get one or two done today. These take a pretty good amount of time. I usually spend about an hour on each one because I do a little bit of inventory searching when I'm clearing these out just to make sure that everything in the toad is listed and occasionally I find stuff that isn't. So I'm gonna start on this one. I might get that one done today too. All right, guys, I finished up with these two racks and as you can see, I opened up a ton of space. I'm really excited to have all this extra room now to store some stuff when I list it. Now it's time to go pick up those auction winnings. So everything from the sign down. All right, appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I think I will. Thank you very much. Alright guys, I'm back at the warehouse. I'm going to show you everything I got. A lot of it is NASCAR. I got quite a few 124 scale cars. Um, I spent a total of 450 bucks. Let's see, right here we've got a Coors Light metal like hood sign. Back here we got a Dale Jarrett street sign. There's a handful of Kyle Schrader cars. We got some Skittles. Ernie Irvin cars. Quite a few uh, Hot Wheels 124 scale. Here's some... Um, Hot Wheels like three pack. Got a handful of these uh, transporters. Kyle Petty. I think that's another Kyle Petty. All these team caliber cars. I think that's Kyle Petty right there. Here's a box of miscellaneous stuff. Preston Dragway. Anytime I can find vintage NASCAR hats, if they're pretty cheap, I'm going to pick them up. I got four of these little um, like miniature RC cars. I'm going to give these to 
Uh, my daughter and nephews, I'll let them play around with them a little bit. These I don't really think are worth a whole lot. These are uh, like lanyards and ticket holders from a variety of races it looks like this guy went to. So he spent $90 to go to Bristol. Those are kind of neat. I might, I might throw those on as a lot, see if somebody wants them. Uh, let's see, we got more die cast over here. Snickers, Ken Schrader, Ernie Irvin, M&M's. One of these is a bank. Chad Little. Let's see, a couple of these are like rubber banded together. Pedigree, Ken Schrader. Here's another transporter. Uh, a couple Dara Wall Trip. Not sure who this one is. Oh, it's like a four pack. Down here at the bottom is definitely the best piece of the whole lot. This is a Dale Jarrett 1999 limited edition case knife. Really sharp, has the original box. It's in like perfect condition. This sells for 300 bucks. I was really surprised when I looked up uh, the prices on it. Only one has sold in the last 90 days. So really excited to get that. Got some more stuff over here. There's that inaugural portraits. I doubt that's worth a whole lot. A couple more 124 scale. Got a couple Bionic Woman dolls. This right here, let's see, I guess this is just like a cardboard beauty salon. So they're both Jamie Summers. Got this one and this one right here. Both in the same outfit. There's a box, but it's just in really poor condition, unfortunately. But yeah, the dolls themselves, I think are bringing around 40 to 50 by the, you know, just as they are without the box, but then I'll put the box in this cardboard piece with it and I should get maybe close to 150 for the pair. This is a car, I think. We got a couple more Ken Schrader m and cars. This is a cool piece. This is a Sony DVD Walkman. From the pictures, it looked like it was almost brand new. There's a little bit of dust and scuffs on this. So I doubt it's brand new, but it, at the very least it looks complete. And these are going for about 50 bucks. And then this tote, I got, looks like nine or 10 more 24 scale. Let's see, Jimmy Spencer, Dale Jarrett, another Dale Jarrett, another Dale Jarrett, Steve Grissom. Oh, this was interesting. This is a 164 scale transporter, Joe Nimichek, and it's autographed too. So I think that'll bring a little bit of money. I bought all that stuff on highbid.com. It's a website that lets auctioneers all over the nation put up auctions, and it's just a huge variety of stuff. Some of them will ship, some of them do local pickups, some of them do both. I've bought a number of things on there over the years, and it reminded me to get on there and look when I saw Dave's video the other day, the Tesla Picker. He's been buying a lot of stuff on Highbid, and I like bidding on there. There's a lot of different stuff to find, and I did really good with this stuff. I think I'm going to make some really good money. All right, before I end this video, I got a couple questions from viewers I want to answer. For this is from Rumba all day this is a little off topic but my sales are slow and i know part of it's holidays but has anyone ever ended everything in their ebay store and started over and if so did it hurt help or hurt your business thanks so i can't speak uh personally because i've never done that but i don't think i would recommend it uh, instead of just ending everything and relisting it all I think you might want to run some sales, uh, maybe send out some offers to some watchers, things like that. And then if your sales are really like slow and stuff's not moving, I'd say moving forward, just make sure you're listing stuff that sells. When you go to list something before you actually do, make sure it's got a good sell through rate. Uh, make sure that there's like more things that have sold that are active listings. Like if you, if you search it and only like 10 have sold in the last 90 days, but there's like 50 active listings for that thing. It's probably not worth listing unless it's rare or valuable or something like that. But you know, if it's like a ten, twenty dollar item and there's a lot more of them out there than have sold, it's probably not worth your time. So just my two cents. Uh, if anybody watching this has advice for him, leave it down below in the comments. Next is from BK Justice. Good luck with your inventory change. Do you get those banker boxes from the bank? So they're talking about these banker boxes right here. I actually got those at Costco. It was a pack of ten, and I want to say it was right around like. $22, something like that, not too expensive. There might be a cheaper price online. Um, I'm sure you can get them at pretty much any kind of office store. I know Staples sells these right here. My brother-in-law actually gave me those extra ones of those. So far I'm liking it though. I've got four racks done and the banker's box is working out pretty well. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.